Hello everybody, today we are going to make balloon scepter or balloon vent. Inflate 4 balloons leaving about 9 cm flat tails. In this example I am going to use 2 yellow and 2 blue balloons. Let's twist the first yellow about 3 maybe 5 cm long bubble. Lock both ends of the first bubble in one lock twist. Now we have to tie nozzles of all other balloons with the first yellow bubble. In this example I am going to use the same waving technique as in the previously published instruction Arch 2. Link to this instruction you will find on my website fewdoit.com or in description to this video. The first yellow bubble serves as uh, an additional bubble uh, I use it to hide the nut. I am going to make spiral color pattern and that's why I am using uh, balloons of two colors. We are going to work two balloons at the same time. Let's twist and lock the first pair half size long uh, bubbles. In this example I made them about 7-8 cm long. Take the second pair of balloons. Twist and lock full size bubbles. In this example I am making the bubbles of about 15-18 cm long. To make the spiral pattern we have to alternate balloons in each pair. Using this waving technique you can make many different color patterns. To get inspired I suggest you to check already mentioned instruction Arch 2. As well as a couple other follow up instructions where I use the same waving technique. We can make this sculpture of uh, different sizes. For example we can make it 3 or 4 bubbles long. Stop right now. Or we can work all balloon lengths. And then attach new sets of balloons and keep working. In this example I am going to make couple more bubbles and it should be enough. Yes, uh, this is going to be the last full size uh, pair of bubbles that we are making. Now I am going to make a pair of uh, half size bubbles. I like ends of this uh, the last uh, pair of bubbles with ends of the previous pair of bubbles. So we got ends of 4 bubbles locked in one lock twist. We have made the stick, the body of the scepter. Now I am going to use the rest of the balloons to make the top, the head of the scepter. Hold all 4 balloons together in one hand. Twist them all in one move making about 40 cm long bubbles. I will take end of uh, one of the yellow balloons. I have to twist about 10, maybe 15 cm long bubble. And then we will lock both ends of the chain of the last two bubbles in one lock twist. This way we force the four long bubbles in a semicircle shape or C shape. Now let's cut off the rest of this yellow balloon and tie off the end, hide it between bubbles of the sculpture. Also we can cut off the rest of the blue balloons and tie off the ends. Now I am going to use the second yellow balloon. Twist uh, a soft about 5 cm long bubble. Lock both ends of the last yellow bubble in one lock twist. Cut off the rest of the yellow balloon, tie off the end. Hide it between bubbles of the sculpture. The last yellow bubble hides uh, the nut on the top of the sculpture. Congratulations we have made the scepter for the king or wound for the uh, princess. This sculpture comes nicely with crown. Let's take closer look on the scepter. Here is the bottom, the side view and the top view. Subscribe to my video channel. Like the video, share it with your friends, leave comments. By order of the king, have fun and happy twisting.